All right. So today we're gonna do a seascape and oils. So let me show you my palette. I got cad yellow and yellow ochre. Oh, for you guys that are just joining, I got cad yellow, um, yellow ochre, cad red medium, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue. I have some burnt sienna, which I'm gonna use to uh, draw the painting, to sketch out the painting. And then I have some uh, burnt umber and white. So what we're gonna do today, I'm outside. Um, we're gonna do a little painting of a seascape. This one. All right. Now, this is my third live video. Uh, apparently I've had some trouble seeing people who are chatting with me. I'm trying to answer some of the questions while we're chatting. And for some reason, I don't know, uh, it must be in between and the chats don't stay up for me so I can't see what you were talking about. So, but anywho, I got my colors. Hey, how you doing, Jackie? Thanks for joining me. So we're down South Florida right now. I'm gonna do a painting. I got my cleaner. And I have a little bit of medium in here, which is like 70% Gamsol and 30% and um, linseed oil. All right, so it'll help with the drying time and plus with the flow of the painting. So let me get started. So let me draw the horizon first of all. So my horizon is gonna be, hey, thank you, hi, Barbara. Coming from West Palm Beach over here. All right, so we're gonna have, let me see, all the way up to like here is gonna be the, all right, about that. We're gonna do a loose sketch. So I'm using thinner to do my sketch. There's very little ocean showing, so the ocean is probably gonna be no more than, than this. That, there's uh, trees coming around here like this, like bushes, and it's coming around the corner like that. All right, so we're gonna have two trees. One, let's draw the big daddy first. One's gonna be about this high. The other one's gonna be about that high, okay? And then part of the tree here, part of the tree like, like that. And that's it, that's gonna be my sketch. That's all we're gonna do. All right, let's jump into the painting. If I didn't see your comment, I'm not ignoring you. It's just it's hard to paint. The camera's behind me, so I just have to check from time to time. And by the way, thank you guys for supporting my channel and um, visiting, you know, watching me paint. So we're going to start with the sky. Get a lot of... Uh, I'm using a number eight, a uh, number 10. This is a bristlon brush. They're pretty good. They're synthetic. They're not a uh, pure bristle, okay? Brislan from silver. Works really nice. All right, so I'm gonna use some, uh, uh, let's go with some white first. Ultramarine blue. White, let's go with a little bit of alizarin crimson, maybe a little bit of yellow ochre. Do a lot more so I have enough paint. A little bit of, now remember not too much crimson because crimson goes a long way. See, I already turned into purple here. Uh, ye yellow ochre. And why I'm using yellow ochre amongst all this is because the alizarin crimson and the blue makes a purple, of course, and yellow, well, yellow ochre is a form of yellow, well, is a um, complementary color. So it's gonna, it's gonna um, tone down the color. 
basically. All right. Let me do this quickly. Now with the daylight savings time and uh, being that it's fall coming around the corner, the weather's changing quickly and nightfall's coming quickly. And I'm outside because all the kids are excited inside with after Halloween, of course. So making more of that color. Now I could use a burnt umber if I wanted to, but this is going to be more harmonious that way. Now the first coat, of course, is like really thin. Now I'm working on 11 by 14 inch canvas here. Trying to get the colors on quickly. And from time to time, I'm looking at my reference photo. So let's go a lighter color, maybe a little bit of cad red, oops, yellow ochre. Maybe a little bit more on the ochre side. Got to make a transition between the two. Now I am dipping in my medium, putting it inside. More white. Linseed oil and thinner, yes. I'm using 70% uh, Gamsol, which is your thinner. And I'm using 30% uh, linseed oil. Now, a tried and true medium um, that's been used for a very long time is uh, you can do 50-50. 50% thinner and 50% um, oil, linseed oil, uh, stand oil, what have you. See, I feel already the paint tacking up. Now it's like about 80 degrees 84 degrees out here right now so and if i don't get to finish it i'll you know i'll, I'll try and finish all in one shot a la prima or if i don't then i'll start working on it in my uh in the house in my studio but hopefully i'll get out here done still working in the same pile of paint adding some cad yellow a little bit of ochre because i just want to tone that yellow down a little bit and then go some Trying to make an orange color. Ooh. Let's put some white there. Now I'm gonna put some clouds here in a minute, okay? For first, we're just gonna try to knock out the white off this canvas here. Let's go a little bit drastic. Let me switch brushes. I'm going to go for a smaller brush just because I'm going to make some of the yellow part of the sky. Good afternoon. How are you? Thanks for joining me. We're doing a scape in oils here. Okay. So sit back, relax. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon, and I'll do the rest of the work for you. Maybe a little bit of burnt umber on that. Tone that down. Use a little bit thinner.
And I want to go with dark colors first because then after, you know, whatever I put, it's going to be nice and uh, nice and light. All right. So let me go uh, with this yellow. Let's go a little bit of, make a little bit more orange. If you see me pausing, that's because I'm going inside my medium. Oh, damn it. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, the inconveniences of painting outside. go with some alizarin alizarin is more on a cooler side of the blue um uh, blue on a cooler side of the reds even though it's a it's a red color it's a cool red because it's, it's got some ultramarine blue in there too I may even use some palette knife work into this. All right, let's clean the brush. All right. Let's do some clouds. Let's plop on some clouds. Let me do a little bit of ultramarine blue, maybe a little Crimson, make a nice little purple. Maybe a little bit of burnt umber into that. That's a little bit too much white. Give me a second. Guys, I'm doing this for you. This is killing me. All right. Okay. Back to where we were. It's okay if you're letting some of the colors mix together. Actually, maybe a little bit more warm red here. And if the colors are diluted or just mixing in, it's okay. Because I'll probably eventually take a palette knife to this. Just in case you hear that. And 
And we're gonna go over some of these colors in a minute too. And I'm gonna go like thicker and thicker paints. We'll work on this afterwards. And let it set up a little bit. All right, let's do the ocean. Just gonna take that same color, just add white. I'm gonna switch up my brush here in a minute. This brush is about past its use. So just remember, this is kind of loose and we'll rework it in a minute. All right, let's work on the sand. Switch up my brush. So the sand, just gonna do a little bit of bluish purple. Let me see this. Too dark. Need more white. too dark. Maybe add a little bit more ochre, grade it down. Keeping that color nice and uh, nice and gray because if I ever want to put any kind of highlights or sand or what have you,
I don't know how this painting is going to turn out. Oh, right? All right. Got that out of the way. All right. Now we're going to start putting in the dark colors. Let's drop the brush. Uh, where is that brush? All right. Let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's make a dark green. Green here. We'll worry about the details after preliminary, get the, to get the, the basics in. I'm laying on thicker, thicker color, not as diluted. Okay, remember you're thick over thin, all right. We'll work on that in a minute. Let me work on the ocean here a bit. All right. Now let me work on that sky. And then I'm gonna start working on this area. Okay, so let me switch up brushes here. Let's work on a sky. Gonna do some thick paint.
This is a poly tip from by Princeton. It's like a catalyst series. Excellent brush. I just went back to Jerry's Art Arama and bought uh, quite a few more. They, they really, they're really nice to, to paint with. Sorry if I missed any question. I keep checking from time to time. Just toning down this color a little bit. Let things mix, it's okay. Go some more reds on top. So basically the colors that I put before were just base colors. Kind of not liking what I did here, but we can fix that. Kind of. I like that better. What do you think? Remember to clean your brush often. I'm going very lightly, very lightly.
Let's take the... Um, brush here. See, by making it nice and grayed out colors, any highlights that I put now is really going to stand out. So this is just an example here. real lightly. As I'm getting further down to the horizon, making it more orange, further away from the source, warmer it gets. Let's pop some nice reds up here. Oh. I love reds. You guys probably thought this was not gonna work out, did you? Tell you the truth, neither did I. I thought I was gonna screw this up badly. Wasn't sure where I was going with that blue, but seems like it's working out. Never give up on a painting, you know, just, the thing is, try and troubleshoot the painting. You know, if you're having issues, work out the kinks, work out the problem, okay? It's never dead end. Sometimes some of my best paintings were initial mistakes. Okay, they were just like absolute failures, but you know, take a few days off and take a look at your painting again and work for a dead end. I can feel the mosquitoes are already out here in full force. Rat bastards. I'm telling you what, to kill them. You know what, let me.
What just happened here? I hope I didn't lose internet connection. Can anybody uh, write something, just like hi or whatever, to see if I lost internet connection? Damn it. Why this had to happen? Oh, perfect. So you can see me. Thanks, Patricia. Appreciate it. All right. So let's keep working on this. Oh, super. Okay, because I have the wheel going around and around and around here. Okay, perfect. All right. So before anything else happens, let's, uh, let's work on this a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's work on some of the greenery over here. Just doing some thick. Brush strokes here. Let's see, maybe a little bit of red. Tone down that green. Some yellow. Ochre. Just give indication of trees or bushes or what have you. Make some darks. Gonna be some bushes here as well. Okay, let me go further out a little bit. Got mosquitoes all over the damn place. I'm telling you, man, these bastards are an absolute force to be reckoned with. They're small, tiny, but damn, do they pack a punch. I swear, sometimes I just have so much respect for them. It's like, how can one miserable life form could be so annoying and painful and ugh. Florida, man, they're a freaking nuisance. All right, let's do some. Highlights. A little bit of white, a little bit of. I'm using a yellow ochre to warm up that green a bit. Go back to the palette knife.
that's just like little little grass runner you know you see all these little flowers that grow on them at the beach hope you can see that fresh all right you like it all right let me darken this up a little bit over here All right. I put mosquito spray on, but boy, I'm telling you, it's like they're having dinner here. I can't taste that shit. I can't taste that good. Now we're gonna have a little fun. Um, where is my brush? Here. I'm gonna dilute some paint. I'm going to be flicking, doing this flicking commotion like this, okay? And make some uh, white, some white sand and pebbles. So I'm going to take a lot of um, thinner, some white. If you hear a boat in the background, it is a boat. We're in South Florida. Everybody's got boats here. Hold on. I'm taking a lot of A lot of thinner, I'm really diluting my colors here. Let me add more white to my palette. not done we're, we're we're close we have to work on the trees after there you go Let me see. Can you see it very well? Let me bring the camera closer. Hold on. Can you see it now? All right. Okay. So now we're going to start working on the palm trees.
So we said one palm tree is going to go this way. Like this. I'm just sketching out what's going to be like about, let me see. And then one's going to be like... Like that. There we go. Just using, making a bunch of dark colors here. There you go. Just like that. Now, let's make some darks for the trees. Just trying to make a dark color, okay? Damn, freaking mosquitoes. And I put spray too, man. Damn. All right, so let's, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, one like that, one like that. Dilute my paint a little bit. Put in the essentials. I may have to even go in there with a palette knife and slam in there some juicy colors for you, some nice thick colors. All right, that's how it's gonna go. Now let me see if I'll be able to put on some darks here, some thick, I may have to use the palette knife. Yeah, it's not working out. All right. Usually what I do is start like this, right? Now watch what's going to happen afterwards though. It's hard having to make like control with these palette knife as to which way the curvature is going to go. Sorry. Work through it, work through it. Let's make some orangey green color right now these palm trees don't look like much but they will you'll see in a minute first I just lay in the uh, not trying to make too many marks this way because what happens is it'll start see these little parts right there i don't want that to drag too much further down okay i just want just to put a thick pile of paint so i can you come back with my brush in a minute and uh make the palm fronds and I guess the only way to see that is I'm going to have to 
show you here in a second. Be mindful which side of the of the palette knife your paint is, because I made mistakes before. So there you go. Okay, now the time has come. All right, let me add more colors, hold on. Let me add some green to this, some, some uh, orange green highlights, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. See, not fully mixed, okay, watch. All right, so let's put some right here. Put some right here. there the paint's gonna mix that's why you don't see me like pushing the paint too much it's gonna mix All right, so let me just make an orange for the other side here. All right. Next, so watch. So I'm gonna put some thinner. I put some thinner on my brush here, okay? So now, this is where it's gonna happen, watch. The colors are gonna mix. Just like that. Because the co the there's so much paint on the canvas, you get some really nice effects when the brush mixes all the paint together. This one like that. You see? Look at that. Put that one here. The same thing. And it's up to you to sculpt. Just like that. This bad boy didn't any, add any colors to him. Like 
like that. And we're gonna work a little bit on this part two afterwards. Just I wanna work on these trees. I know you folks have other things to do. And I really sincerely appreciate the fact that you're taking your time out of your busy day to watch me paint. Love you guys. Like that, just quick downward strokes. Same here. Make sure to wipe your brush in between those fronds, okay? Just like that. Quick flick of the wrist, quick flick of the wrist. There you go, just. Let me add some red to that one. I want to add some actually orange. Boom. Yeah, let's do that here too. There you go. Let's add some you Just got to be careful when you do this. Doesn't always work out, but today so far it's, it's fine. All right. Okay. So let's do some, finish off this painting with some grasses. This is not too elaborate of a painting, but you get the gist of it, right? Tall grasses. Let's make some branches. Do some scrofiti or scrofito, whatever they call it. Just 
just like that. All right, you know what? I want to add a stroke of orange over here just, just to show uh, like Like that, almost like a wave here. The sun's like hitting it. Let me throw a little bit of yellow on top of that. And then we might call this painting done. There you go, yeah. All right. Let me throw that bam 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 okay well i think i am there you go oh yeah i like that yeah give it to me give it to me yeah, that works, that works. Yes. All right. Let old boy sign his name. All right. Sign my name and okay guys what do you think did I manage did I succeed I hope you guys learned something today.